In this episode, I'm going to show you how to block applications from opening in Windows 11 Home and Pro versions. So let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're going to see what the name of the extension is. To find that out, you right click your software that you want to block. Then go to properties. Here in the target, it's gonna be the name that's attached to the exe. So for example, Google Chrome, it's gonna be chrome.exe. All right, so we're gonna click okay. Now this is for pro versions right now. After I show you this step, I'm gonna show home users how to disable applications. So we're gonna go GP edit, hit enter. Under user configuration, we're gonna to go to administrator templates and click on system. We're gonna open, don't run specified Windows applications. Now when you open it, by default, it's gonna be set to not configure. So you're gonna click on enable. You're gonna click on show. The value will be blank. So in the value, we're gonna put in chrome.exe. Click okay, click apply, click okay again. And then we're going to close out group policy. So if you double click Chrome, it's blocked. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to unblock it. So what you do is you go back into group policy and then go to administrator templates, system, and then click on don't run specified Windows applications. So double click that. Now you can put it to not configure, which it will disable it. Or you can click on enable, click on show, and then erase the value for uh, chrome.exe. Um, best practice, click on not configure. Okay, but if you have multiple uh, applications that you're blocking, just click on show, erase the app, that you want to unblock and then hit okay. And then, okay, so I need an app, at least one app to uh, show in the value. So if you only have one app and you want to disable that app, you have to click on not configure and then apply okay. So we're going to X out of group policy and then Chrome will be open. Okay. And the next step, I'm going to show home users how to block applications. Okay. So for all the home users, you're going to go down to your search and type reg edit, click on red tree editor, click yes. All right, so here you're going to go to H key, current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, policies, explorer. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating a uh, D word 32 value and you're going to name it disallow run and you're going to set it to one. After that, you're going to click back on to the Explorer key or folder, right click new key and you're going to name it disallow run. Okay. So then click on the key or the folder of disallow run. And then here you're going to create a string value. Now when you create a string value, you're going to uh, name it one. If it's the first application that you're going to be block 
blocking. If it's the second, you're going to name it two. If it's the third, three. If it's the fourth, four. You know where we're going. Four, five, six. You're going to uh, be numbering it down the line. Okay, so uh, so for this, I'm going to say two because I'm going to I'm going to block Microsoft Edge. So we're going to go two. Now you're going to right click the string value. You're going to click on modify. Okay, so we're going to go back to Microsoft Edge. We're going to right click and we're going to check the properties and we're going to see what the name of the executable executable is. So it's msedge.exe. So here, value data, msedge.exe. You're going to click out. Okay. Now, sometimes you might have to restart your laptop or computer. For most cases, you don't need to. We're going to double click Edge and it's blocked. So if you want to block another application, you're going to go down the list, right click new string, and you're going to give it a value of three and then uh, put in the value data here or whatever the executable name is. So I'm going to show you something really interesting. Okay, really cool. So basic for home users and and pro versions. So the pro version, it uses the group policy editor. Home users don't have group policy editor because it's not in the uh, feature for home. So they use the registry. So I'm going to show you guys something. We're going to pull up group policy. Okay. So now we're going to go to the user configuration, admin templates, and then system. We're going to bring up don't run specified windows applications. Okay. Now we're going to refresh. Now we can actually open edge now. Okay. So let's close out edge. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add edge in the value in group policy. Now this is for pro versions, All right. So we're going to hit apply and okay. So now we can't open edge. What it's doing is it's writing it to the registry and the disallow run folder or the key. Because if you go up here and go to view and go refresh, it shows up. Okay. So if we go back in, go to show and we clear out the MS edge, hit OK, apply and OK, open edge again, it opens. Okay. But you're thinking, hey, it's still in the registry. Actually, it's not. We have to go up here and refresh it and it's gone. That's how it works. So for more tips, tricks, strategy guides, be sure to subscribe and turn your bell notification on for the latest updates. If you like this episode, if, it's a, if this helped, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.